hello church. I wanted to pause in the middle of the day and spend a little more time with you, even if it's digitally through a camera. But uh, I know times are strange and these are odd and, and we all feel sort of out of sorts as our normal rhythms of life are thrown off and, and we all feel uh, a bit baffled and confused as to what to do with our time as we have some of us more time on our hands, some of us uh, just as much time as we did before. But these are strange times and we need more than ever, more than ever in times like this to really buckle down and make sure that we are clinging to Christ with, with white knuckled ferocity and tenacity. And so I just wanted you to know again that the elders are praying for you by name. We care for you and and we just want to do whatever we can to help you feel connected and, and cared for. And, and so there are many things um, uh, coming in, in the coming weeks that will uh, help us all be connected together as a church and uh, that will really help us uh, continue our mission together to prize, portray, and proclaim the supremacy of Christ in all things for the joy of of all peoples. And one of the things that I wanted to do was just to, to give you uh, something to do with your time. I, you know, in, in times of providential times like this, where our schedules are different and we might have more time on our hands, I think this is a perfect opportunity. This is a providence of God to, to read more, to discover more about who God is. So the, one, of the, one of the greatest services that you can render to the church is is to grow in your affection for Christ through reading and meditation. That, that's the greatest act of service that you can render to another human being, is to grow in your affection and love and, and admiration of Jesus Christ, to, to grow in your precision of, of, of biblical thinking. And so again, Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the renewal of our minds happens through the means of truth. And so I wanted to give you some, some ideas of, of what you could be meditating on. As you know, we do books of the month at Christ Community. And the one of the books that's the book of the month for this month is The Treasure Principle by Randy Alcorn. And you know the, the main focus of the book is, is how finances connect to our souls and how finances can advance the Great Commission and how finances, the way we use and spend money, can even accumulate for us treasure in heaven. You see, the New Testament is unashamed in its promises of lavish reward for what we do on this planet. I'm just unashamed promises of, of reward in the age to come. And the way we spend our time and the way we spend our money is one of the ways that we accumulate treasure in heaven. We still don't deserve that reward. We still don't deserve that treasure, but God gives it nevertheless. And so this is a, a great book. We're going to be doing a, a finance class uh, starting in April. And this will be uh, the textbook for the class. Anyone can join that. But this would be in times like this. Uh, in which we're affected uh, so drastically financially and monetarily, what better resource, what better truth to fill our minds than how God feels about not our money, but the money he has entrusted to us. And so I highly recommend this. Not everything in the book I'm crazy about, but but the, the overall message of the book I'm excited about. And, and, and I love the thought of using money uh, that God has entrusted to us as a way to enjoy him more and advance the Great Commission more effectively. So I, I commend this book to you. The other book, which I don't have a copy on me, is the uh, book, uh, The Broken Hearted Evangelist by, by Jeremy Walker. That's the other book of the month. And it's a book on, as you can tell, evangelism and how to care for lost people. I think times like this, not I think, definitely times like this are opportunities for the gospel, for gospel proclamation. We are surrounded by people who are panicking and fearful. And so I would encourage you to read The Brokenhearted Evangelist and um, and, and grow in, in what I want is I, I want us to grow in being able to weep for lost people, to weep for lost neighbors who live just down the street for us, for, to weep for lost people that we pass, who, to weep for, for the, the millions of lost people that, that even live just in the DFW area, area itself. And so, uh, so I highly recommend uh, the brokenhearted evangelists, that we would be brokenhearted evangelists as a church.
And then finally, a third one, um, a book that I think the cover looks different now, but it's a book, Seeing and Savoring Jesus Christ by John Piper. This book uh, has been largely influential in my life, so soul-stirring, and, and it feeds the hungry soul. One, one of the things that is so necessary for times like this is to see clearer and more profound portrayals of Jesus Christ. The more we can love Christ, the more we can be infatuated by Christ, the more effective we will be uh, in this world, especially in times like this. And so uh, the, the way to... Uh, to be more effective, the way to grow in deeper satisfaction and fulfillment and effectiveness in this life is not to stock up on toilet paper, but to grow in your infatuation for Jesus Christ. And so I highly commend this book to you. Again, so good, so stirring, so soul-satisfying to, to see the glory and the excellencies of Jesus Christ. And so uh, I'll be sending these messages to you all week. I, I trust that they are an encouragement to you and that they are in some way, uh, you know, they help you feel a little connected to the elders and, and our care for you. So again, don't forget that at 9 a.m. Uh, we will, on Sunday morning, we will be uh, doing the Trinity class, which any of you can tune in. You'll receive uh, a link to, to join us uh, live stream on the Trinity class. And then also at 10.30 uh, this Sunday, uh, same time as, as our usual services, we will be showing a pre-recorded service so that you can worship together uh, as a family with the church. And so uh, Rich Kasky will be preaching on Ezekiel 36, uh, the New Covenant, uh, glorious passage, so helpful and necessary even for times like this. Okay, so we will see you, as it were, this Sunday uh, through um, a, a recorded uh, service together, but it'll be a sweet time together as a church. So I'm praying for you, praying that Christ would do big things, even despite circumstances that, that by necessity have to be different. But Christ is not limited. He is sovereign. He governs everything that comes to pass. So I'll be in touch, and I will have more videos for you later on.